The admirers of Apollo Scooter Company would be delighted to find out the upgrades that are coming to the Apollo Phantom model. The 2023 version of this dual-motor electric scooter focuses on improving the overall riding experience and gives better control over the powertrain output. The scooter's powertrain is represented by two electric motors, generating 1,200 watts of output each. However, now the motors are hooked up to a new controller that can squeeze speeds up to 41 miles per hour from this setup. The power to the motors is supplied by a 52-volt, 23.4-amp-hour battery, good for distances up to 40 miles. The 2023 updates also include a smart regenerative brake throttle, improved app connectivity with GPS navigation, and a control display that grew in size and offers better brightness and anti-glare technology. The presence of quadruple spring suspension, 10-inch tires, LED lighting, 25-degree climbing capabilities prove that this model would let you navigate through the road less traveled with ease and pure exhilaration. Despite being an internationally recognized producer of consumer electronics, Xiaomi Company was one of the first to enter the e-mobility scene with their affordable city scooters almost seven years ago. Due to the popularity of this product, the company continued research and development in this niche and presented a new model that is bringing more features while retaining a competitive price. Compared to its predecessor, Xiaomi 4 Ultra features a wider and longer deck that houses a larger battery pack, has wider handlebars, a dual suspension system, and self-sealing tires with special gel protection. The scooter is suspended by 8.2 inches over the ground, thus giving you a good clearance for riding in urban areas. Xiaomi 4 Ultra is brought into motion by a 500-watt rear hub electric motor that can put out 940 watts of peak output. However, the top speed was capped at just 15 miles per hour. The scooter's 561.5 watt-hour battery pack could last for up to 43 miles of riding at a continuous speed of 10 miles per hour, while carrying riders up to 265 pounds. Last year, Obarter e-mobility manufacturer presented one of the most powerful off-road scooters on the market, Obarter X7. This all-terrain ready model is based on an aircraft-grade aluminum alloy frame with special reinforcements that made it suitable for handling payloads up to 275 pounds. Despite its sturdy structure, the frame could be folded in half for the ease of transportation and storage. X7 got a dual-motor powertrain with the peak power output rated at 8 kilowatts. With so much power on tap, experienced riders would be able to push to the top speed of 56 miles per hour and conquer steep hills. The model makes off-roading less challenging thanks to a full suspension system, wheels with grippy 14-inch tires, 160mm dual-piston hydraulic disc brakes in the front, and hydraulic disc brakes with four pistons in the rear. Moreover, there's an electronic brake system for even more stopping power. A 60-volt, 60 60-amp-hour 60 battery pack comes as a standard option for the X7 scooter. It offers up to 120 miles of continuous riding on a moderate power setting. X7 is amazing, but if you're looking for a lighter and tamer model, there's the Obarter D5. This model is rolling in a set of road tires, has dual-motor powertrain with 5,000-watt output reading and 43-mile-per-hour speed capabilities. The motors are juiced by a 48-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack that's removable for your charging convenience. Every full battery charge gets you between 37 and 75 miles of riding, depending on your riding style. With the Obarter D5, you're getting a large control display, a 5-amp fast charger that tops the battery in 7 hours, front and rear lights with turn signals, hydraulic brakes, and a full suspension system. One X is the latest product offering by the Velocifero electric mobility manufacturer. The model is developed as a dual-purpose commuting vehicle that can easily deal with the urban commutes as well as dirt trails. Despite not having the most powerful powertrain by the dirt scooter standards, 
One X can still ride at speeds up to 28 miles per hour thanks to the installed dual motor powertrain. Both motors are powered by a 61.2 volt battery pack with the overall capacity of 1,224 watt hours and lets you climb hills with 25% inclines. The manufacturer estimates that a full battery charge would let you cover up to 50 miles at a continuous speed of 12.5 miles per hour. Once depleted, you'd need up to 5 hours to restore the charge. Considering the off road nature of this vehicle, the manufacturer had to introduce knobby tires, a telescopic front suspension, a single shock rear absorber, cable actuated hydraulic disc brakes, and full LED lights to illuminate the trail in front of you. Roadrunner RS5 is one of the latest electric scooter models that were developed to serve a dual purpose, quick transit within the city zones, and great climbing abilities in off-road conditions. RS5 is trying to strike a balance between a traditional commuter scooter and a beefed-up dirt model. It weighs 89 pounds and is using a brushless dual-drive powertrain with 2400 watts of combined output. This powertrain draws energy from a 52-volt, 23.2 amp-hour battery pack good for up to 40 miles of autonomy. The range estimates would depend on the road conditions, speed of travel, and the weight of the rider. Please note that the scooter is rated to carry riders up to 330 pounds at speeds close to 45 miles per hour. Once low on charge, you could easily remove the battery pack from its housing at the bottom of the deck and charge it from a home outlet for 10 hours without a need to carry your scooter inside. Other noteworthy features of RS5 include tubeless air-filled tires, folding design and a robust locking mechanism, a bright display for tracking performance metrics, a dual hydraulic spring suspension, and hydraulic braking system by NUT. Like many modern scooters, the new Pure Advance is equipped with a 500-watt motor that has 710-watt peak power capabilities and 15.5 mile per hour riding speed. But unlike its competitors, this urban commuting vehicle has a unique forward-facing frame design. So instead of resting your feet on the deck sideways, you have two standing pads located on each side of the scooter's frame. This foot placement is said to provide better riding stability, greater maneuverability, and improved safety. The Pure Advance scooter is also offered in two frame designs. The regular Advance modification can be folded horizontally and has such dimensions when folded. 21.2 inches high, 5.9 inches wide, and 41 inches long. The Pure Advance Flex can be folded both horizontally and vertically, thus taking up even less space in your car, storage unit, or under a desk at work. Depending on the chosen modification, you can expect to cover between 25 and 31 miles on a charge. If you think that the times of obscenely fast electric scooters built for dirt trails may be coming to an end, then Zondu Scooter Manufacturer is here to prove you wrong. The brutal design language of their Z03 Plus is backed up by the robust technical parameters. Dual motor powertrain with 5600 watts of output, 60 volt, 38 amp hour battery pack, 11 inch all-terrain tires that could let you scramble up hills with 45 degree inclines, 60 mile per hour top speed capabilities, and up to 68 miles of riding between charges. Considering the scooter's powerful performance, the manufacturer introduced a triple brake system and has a seat option so you could ride it as an alternative to a low displacement motorcycle. Just like many models in this heavy-duty category, Z03 Plus features a robust full suspension system, dual headlights and turn signals, can carry riders up to 440 pounds, and has a smart LCD dashboard for tracking riding speed, estimated range, and changing between three performance levels. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates, and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.